Hi guys, Wendy here. You reached my channel, Book It With Wendy. And welcome back if you're already a subscriber and welcome, welcome if you are new here. I am very happy to have you. So today's video is going to be really fun. I'm going to do a video on my five books, five of my favorites that make me happy. And I think they'll make you happy too. So I'm gonna go over those. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm filming this on Thursday, but tomorrow's Friday, and you guys know that's one of my favorite days of the week. I'm sure it's for you too. Um, so I'm gonna start with the first book and get right into this. Um, every one of these books I treasure immensely. Um, they're part of my collection forever. I've read them um, more than once, and I thoroughly enjoy them, and they make me very happy wanted to share them with all of you. So the first book is one of my very favorite um, Disney movies um, by far. My kids have watched it a million times. We still watch it. Um, I still watch it every once in a while uh, because I just love the story and I have uh, more than one copy of this book. I've seen like every rendition of this story. Um, so it's wonderful. And that is none other than J.M. Barry's Peter Pan. And I don't just love it because my name is in it, although it definitely helps. Um, so yeah, this book is a treasure to me. I love the story. I'm sure you guys all know the story of Peter Pan. I don't really have to tell you. Um, it's a very heartwarming story um, and it's got some magic in it and it's got adventure in it. And um, I just love it. I think it's a very cozy, very um, just a wonderful story. So um, that's one of the books uh, out of the five that I'm going to go through that uh, makes me very happy every time I've read it. Um, the next book um, is one of my favorite, favorite Christmas stories. And this particular copy is one of my treasured copies of this book. Uh, it is none other than A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and it is my cloth-bound penguin copy, which I treasure. Um, it's got some beautiful illustrations in it of Scrooge, and I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys the story of Scrooge, uh, Scrooge and Morley, um, gets visited by three ghosts, changes his whole life, and becomes a wonderful caring person who enjoys life and embraces it. Um, that's what I love about this story. Uh, it's just a beautifully written story. This particular one has other Christmas writings in it, but um, The Christmas Carol is one of the biggest stories in here. So this book I treasure uh, very much in my collection. The next book that makes me very happy um, is, you've heard me talk about him a million times on this channel um, and I I really really hope and pray that I meet him one day because I just love him I've told you guys I I won't go off on a tangent about him but he is just a wonderful human being on top of being a wonderful writer his books are perfectly um, written they are not only have they all have a spiritual aspect in them that I absolutely love but also um, they're the perfect size books you can read his books, you can read a couple of his books in one day, um, and it is none other than Mitch Album. This one, The Five People You Meet in Heaven, is probably one of my favorite books of his, and it is a signed copy to boot. And there it is. There's your signature, guys. This uh, particular signed copy my brother got me um, last Christmas, and um, I will treasure this always. Um, I didn't have a signed copy of, of any of his books. And um, this particular one is one of my favorites. So Five People You Meet in Heaven had um, a movie as well. And in this particular case, and it's usually not, the movie was probably just as good uh, as the book. Um, really a great movie. Uh, John Boyd plays Eddie, the main character in this book. Um, he works at a pier. He's worked there uh, since he's an adolescent. Um, and it shows you his life and um, the things that happen and why they happened in his life. And um, 
he meets five people that he knew in his life in heaven hence the name of the book and they each have their own heaven or what they consider to be their own heaven and they each have a uh, lesson to teach him um, about his own life so it's it's got a lot of meaning which i love again about each album he always has it's like a spiritual aspect and there's always um there's always something to think about in his books uh and i just that's what i love about them and his books are very short they are um this this book is like 160 pages and i'd say most of his books are about 160 pages so it you can definitely get get like an hour or two you can be done with this book so this um mitch album the five people you meet in heaven again another book that i love that makes me happy okay we have two more these last two are definitely make me very happy when i read them i have spoken i've done reviews extensive reviews on these two book on books on the channel and so you might be able to guess one of them but the one i have in my hand is by gerald salenti it is a story about a an aunt and a nephew and their beautiful relationship together and that is none other than what ZZ gave honey boy and this book touches my heart because it so reminds me of my grandmother and i've shared that with you guys on this channel my grandmother passed quite a long time ago but um her and i had a very special relationship um she lived with me her whole life and so um, I was brought up with her cooking. I was, I was blessed enough to have her for 97, almost 98 years. And just her stories, her cooking, um, everything about her, I will forever miss, but I was blessed enough to have that my whole life. Um, and this particular book is um, a little bit different. It's about an aunt and her nephew, but he comes to visit her every week. Um, and she cooks for him some of her recipes are in the book uh, which i love i've tried both of them i think um there's anise cookies and um chicken cutlet recipe in here and um zz his aunt zz lives in yonkers and he goes to visit her and she always cooks for him and they sit and they play scrabble together and they talk politics and she's very opinionated and uh, he likes to get her going uh, he likes to hear her um, her opinions on things, on different subjects, especially politics. And she's very opinionated um, and very sharp. Uh, they talk about, you know, family, health care. They talk about politics. And her, her pet name for him is Honey Boy. That's what she calls him. So the story is about what he, she gave him, um, her views on life. Um, she made him see things um, from a different viewpoint than his own. She gave him her wisdom. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful, heartfelt book that, like I said, is very near and dear to me. And um, I just loved it. It's not a long book. Um, it is 180, 190 pages. Not even 200 pages, um, but worth every page. So pick this book up if you don't have it. I'm telling you, you're not going to regret it. It's one of those books, every one of these books just stays with you, has stayed with me after I read it for a very long time. The last book is last, but certainly not least. Um, this one I did a whole review on too. It is one of my very favorite books. This book definitely makes me very happy when I read it. I've read it more than once. And that is by Betty Smith, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, guys. That one is like the top one of my top favorite books um this book is a classic and rightly so um it is this book actually is almost 500 pages it doesn't seem it but it is and um it's about francie nolan and her family growing up in williamsburg brooklyn in the 1900s um, they're very poor, um, and, no, and Francie's very close to her dad, who uh, is an alcoholic and can't hold a job. So because of um, 
his disease that he has. Uh, the family uh, is always um, suffering financially. Um, her mom uh, cleans the the tenant, you know, the um, the apartment house that they live in, and she works really hard. She works her fingers to the bone, mopping and cleaning the house uh, where all the tenants live, and. Um, they are forced to sacrifice a lot because of her dad's um, inability to keep a job. But Francie loves her father so much and um, she really tries to um, sort of protect him a little bit, you know. Um, she she gets through a lot of the strife in her life by um, reading. She discovers books at a very young age and I can so relate to that because books have gotten me out of some really tough tough times in my life, um, some dark periods. And um, so she goes to the library every week and she gets a new book and she explains little things in the library that she takes note of, like such details, like, um, you know, flowers in the library or a bowl with, with um, you know, decorations in it. And um, she her, her plan is to read her way through the whole library from A to Z. And she just loves books, um, so that I can definitely relate to. And it's got it's got grit in it, it's got sacrifice in it, but it, it has great hope. Uh, it's it's a story of triumph, and I just love it. Um, Betty Smith herself, um, this is very closely mirrors her upbringing. It's almost like an autobiography of her life, and um, she's a wonderful, wonderful writer. And who would have known that this this poor girl growing up in Brooklyn would someday be one of the greatest writers uh, there ever was and have one of the the most famous books in history. Um, so it just goes to show you, which is also why I love this book uh, and other aspects. So if you guys haven't read A Three Girls in Brooklyn, come on. I mean, you've got to read this book. It's just, it's amazing. I just loved it. Um, it's, it, it's a book that will stay with me forever. And uh, this book I devoured. Like, I read this book on my lunchtime. I just, I took it everywhere. I, I couldn't get enough of this book. I couldn't put it down. So definitely pick this up. So that is it, guys. That is uh, five, of, uh, five books that make me very happy that it will be in my collection forever. And um, so I wanted to share them with you guys. And I hope everybody is doing well um, here on Long Island, New York. Um, I think we're due for some rain this weekend. I'm filming this on Thursday. It'll, you guys will see it on Friday. But um, we're supposed to get some rain, which I really don't mind on the weekend because it makes reading even better. Um, I've told you guys before, I love a rainy reading day. And I'm sure a lot of you do too as book lovers. So that's it for me. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe below. I appreciate it each and every time. I'll see you guys back here again on Monday. As always, I'll see you later.